are um, doing the same thing today. That's awesome. Okay. Um, we're we're going to respond to the following prompt in the comment section below today, today's post. Ask yourself, what is Juliet most concerned about? Okay. Remember yesterday she went to speak to Friar Lawrence. She had the conversation. I would rather die. I would rather be married to my tomb than to be married to Paris. I'm already married to Romeo. Um, the friar came up with a plan. He told her to take this vial of stuff and he was going to give her 40 it'll it'll make her sleep for 42 hours she'll have the appearance of being dead they'll bury her in the family tomb and then by the time she comes around um he would have gotten word to romeo romeo would have come back and the friar and romeo will both be there when she wakes up so all of these things are going through her head like what if this happens what if that happens? Okay, so what I need you to know is that I've also included a document with text evidence. Okay, I've also included a document with text evidence. Let me show you what that. Okay, and it has quotes in it already. But what I want you to do is take and either copy one of those quotes. Okay, copy one of those quotes and it says it's already in here. Okay, so you can open this up and you can copy one of the quotes. Okay, because as we go through Romeo and Juliet, I'll quick tell you what uh, is going on. Um, remember, she's come home from confession. She's apologized to her father. She said she's seen the errors of her way. She doesn't want to be disowned. She's going to go ahead and marry Paris. So that's what happened yesterday. She's going to go ahead and marry Paris. Um, she, and he said, sleep in your chambers alone. Okay. Well, there's a lot of work to be done, right? The mom is running around. She's trying to get the house ready. They don't want to have too big a party because what happens if they have too big a party? It doesn't look like they're mourning Tybalt's death. Okay. It doesn't look like they're mourning Tybalt's death. Okay. So I'm going to quick go over what's going on. This will be really fast, so you have to listen close and pay attention. You can replay it if you need to. Okay, Act 4, Scene 3. She's home. She's told her father she'll marry Paris. Um, she, The Capulet already said to his wife, don't worry about it. I'll stay up all night if I have to to finish all this woman's work. Go help Juliet pick out her gown that she's going to wear tomorrow. Um, Juliet doesn't really want her help, so the nurse goes up to help her, and Juliet says, Aye, those attires are best, but gentle nurse, I pray thee, leave me to myself tonight, for I have need of many orisons to move the heavens to smile upon my state, which, well thou knowest, is crossed and full of sin. Uh, so Lady Capulet comes in and she says, Hi, what, are you busy? Do you need my help? Juliet says, no, madame, we've called such necessaries, okay? We've, we've collected all the things we need for my wedding day as behooful of our state tomorrow in preparation as behoove, behoove um, in, to prepare in advance, okay? So please you, let me now be left alone and let, let the nurse this night sit up with you for I am sure you have your hands full. All of this is so sudden business. Okay, so she's like, Mom, let the nurse come get, um, come help you because I know you're going to be busy. And then let me sleep alone in my own thoughts and dwell on what, or, you know, think about what this is going to bring and mean. Lady Capulet says, Good night, get thee to bed and rest for thou hast need. So you're going to need your rest because tomorrow's going to be a big day. Not only your wedding, but a big party to celebrate. Lady Capulet and the nurse exit. Juliet says, farewell. God knows when she, we shall meet again. I have a faint cold fear thrills through my veins and almost freezes up the heat of life. I'll call them back again to comfort me. Nurse, what should she do here? My dismal scene, I need to act alone. Come vile. And she takes out the vial. Okay, she is Fearful. This is foreshadowing. Farewell. God knows when we shall meet again. I have a faint cold fear thrills through my vein. Foreshadowing. Also a fear. She's not sure what to expect. She doesn't know who she can trust. She's not sure what's going on. 
nurse uh, says, what should we do here? My dismal scene, I must act alone. Come vial, she takes out the poison or the sleeping, right? What if this mixture do not work at all? Shall I be married then tomorrow morning? Also a fear, also a fear, okay? That's what her concern is. When she, what if she does wake up? What if she does have to marry Julie or Romeo? So she takes out her knife and puts it down beside her, also foreshadowing what that's her backup plan, just in case this doesn't work. She says, no, no, this shall forbid it. This shall forbid that I wake up tomorrow. Lie thou there. What if thus be a poison which the friar subtly had ministered to have me dead? Lest this marriage he should be dishonored because he married to me to Romeo before this. She said, I fear it is, yet methinks it should not, for he hath still been tried a holy man. So she wonders if it's a poison, so the friar doesn't get caught marrying her to Romeo already. Also a fear, if you're paying attention, okay? Um, for he has still been tried a holy man. So he really doesn't commit murder because he's already, you know, that's 10 commandments, we're the Catholic church, we don't you know, he's to counsel people, not kill them, right? And she says, how if when I'm laid into the tomb, I wake before the time that Romeo come to redeem me? There's a fearful point. That's another one that's going on right now, right? She's afraid she's going to be in that tomb by herself. Shall I not then be stifled in the vault to whose foul mouth no some air breathes in? Okay, so that's all like, it's a crypt. It's a tomb below ground. It's a, there is no fresh air that comes through there. Um, it's not airtight. It won't kill her, but it's definitely not probably good to breathe in all of the stuff that comes with decay. And remember, Tybalt's in there, right? And then it says, and there dies strangled to my Romeo comes. And there dies strangled ere my Romeo comes. And what if I'm, like unconscious and dead from the dismal air in there when he comes to find me. Or if I live, it is not very like the horrible conceit of death and night together with the terror of the place, okay? What if I just get scared to death? As in the vault, an ancient receptacle where for this many hundred years the bones of all my buried ancestors are packed, okay? So it's just terrifying anyway. You never go in there by yourself. Where bloody Tybalt, yet but green in earth. Okay, so Tybalt has already been buried in the family vault. Green, new, new to the catacombs, or it's not even a catacombs. A catacombs is something different, but it's, this is definitely a family vault, a family burial plot. Lies festering in his shroud, where as they say, at some hours in the night, spirits resort. Alack, alack, it is not that I, so early waking, with that loathsome smells and shrieks like mandrakes torn out of the earth. So the thought is um, that maybe his spirit might return and hover around until he moves on um, and it can be terrifying, right? So she says that living mortals hearing them run mad or if I wake, I shall not be distraught environed with these hideous fears and madly play with my forefather's joints and pluck the mangled Tybalt from his shroud and in this rage with some great kinsman's bone as with a club dash out my desperate brains. Okay, so she's afraid that she might just be being terrified for that entire time, literally bash out her own brains with like a femur of some late ancestor. She says, oh, methinks I see my cousin's ghost seeking out Romeo that did spit his body upon a rapier's point. Stay, Tybalt, stay. Romeo, Romeo, here, drink. I drink to thee. Okay, so uh, more foreshadowing. I, she thinks she sees her cousin's ghost. Is that, okay, what is in her future? Um, okay, uh, Romeo, Romeo, here, I drink to thee. She falls upon the bed with the curtains. That's it. Remember, we're looking at the drama of what is happening. Okay, why does the director choose to end it like this? So your job today is an exit ticket. I have included a list of quotes here and you have to interpret what they mean. You can copy this whole thing 
You can copy it. You can put it in the chat below Google Classroom. Okay, you know, when you get to the comment section and then you have to explain in a minimum of two sentences what that quote means. Why does that indicate that she is fearful? Okay, that is due today by the end of class. Any questions, email me. You're awesome. Have a great day. I will see you tomorrow.